I'm Katie and I'm Diana and we are a mother-daughter knitting duo coming to you from uh, Central Kentucky. Yes. It's beautiful weather outside. It's a little bit chilly. Mm -hmm. It's March 16th. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. When okay wait when was our we didn't even talk about this before our first podcast we okay. posted was was it March 12th? 12th? Okay so it's our first it's, yeah, birthday it's anniversary. So, exciting. So, so I meant to talk about like, well, we need yeah. to give something away. So, so we won't talk about it. Well, I mean, why yeah. don't we? Well, we don't, yeah, don't let's just give something away. Okay. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna something, something good. Away. I don't know what. <laughs> well, but you'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put, well, we could put some little knickknacks in yeah. there, stuff we like, and then enough yarn to make something. Yeah. We're not it sure. It might be what. socks. It'll be a surprise. It won't be a sweater. Good. Well, no. Huh. I've got some good stash oh, oh that I'll okay. not share. Maybe a little chickadee. So yeah, maybe a little chickadee. <laughs> we have some chickadee. Maybe whatever it is, it'll be a nice spring. Yeah. Or yeah, summer. Yeah. That you could do something some mm -hmm. you know, socks or sweater or bit mm -hmm. maybe a vest or something. I'll yeah. find something. Yeah. And then we could put a little maybe some uh stitch holder fun. cords. Yeah. A couple of those. Yeah. yeah, we'll just do some fun stuff. So yeah. since it is our anniversary yes. And we, y'all are friends. Yeah. We want to share. You that have been with us from the beginning, thanks oh for goodness. hanging in there. Thanks for hanging in there. Those of you that are just joining us, it's probably a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. We've had fun along we, the way. Oh, we have. I we think have. for sure. Yes. We've met a lot of sweet people. Definitely. So that's always fun. Mm -hmm. Katie was on the um, premiere last time. She asked yeah. me if we could do it at that time. I'm like, sure. Well, then I got home from church and I'm like laying there and I'm like, oh, wait, we're supposed to I text her. I'm like, I just laid down. <laughs> so she handled that all by herself. She was very gracious. So, it was fun. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. So I do love it. I yeah. missed it. So yes. I'm, I'm really hoping that I can, if this was a premiere, this one, mm -hmm. I'm hoping to get on it. So what happens is when we... Um, record then we try and and the first showing is always a premiere so mm -hmm. that we can be on there and chat with you while we are all watching because mm -hmm. usually it's the first time I see it as well we'll watch it together and then we chat about mm -hmm. it and just chat about everybody what everybody's doing and yeah. all that I mean a lot of the people that um, that join us are return yes. friends yes. so there's usually about 60 or 70 people mm -hmm. on there um, that we get to talk to. Mm -hmm. And I know it's different times for different people. Right. So that's really hard. So and that's we're not consistent with, you know, sometimes it's at seven our time. Sometimes it's at one in the afternoon. Yeah. So hopefully you can catch. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometime. And what, <laughs> what we try to do is, uh, Caitlin will put something up. It shows up on YouTube that mm -hmm. we're going to have a premiere at such and such time. Mm -hmm. So that's how you, so if you subscribe to our channel, yes then you'll get that notice. Right. Yeah, I used to post on Instagram and stories and like let you know right. the day of because that's usually when we found right. out. <laughs> that's so usually that's when, when we, it happens. <laughs> um, but I haven't been on Instagram in a while. Yeah. And so sometimes I like download it, post it, and then yeah. whatever. Yeah. But I just didn't do that Maybe last you could time, show so. me how and I could do it. Yeah. I mean, because I, I don't get on mine mm -hmm. much, but I do still have it yeah. on phone. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> but for sure, if you're subscribed, then you'll get the notification that we're yes. going to premiere at whatever yes. time yes. we've decided. Yes. So. And if there's a certain time that suits you better, kind of let us yeah. know. Because mm -hmm. um, we are happy to kind of do, you know, at different times for mm -hmm. people so different people can join us. But, you know, after it's premiered, then it's just, it's, all, right. it's on there mm -hmm. indefinitely. So. And you can't look back at the chat that we've had. Right. I don't it's think, just, at least. I don't know how to <laughs> That's true. We do. You might. I mean, yeah. To. I don't think if you don't know if you can, let us know. It's a separate thing from the comments. Section. Yes. So you have the comments and you yeah. have the chat. So. so the chat, you have to have a keyboard, right? I, I think that's the know. trick to that. And it'll be on the left or right, sorry, right hand side. Mm -hmm. The comments are down below. Mm -hmm. So if you do comments, that's not what we're watching mm -hmm. during the premiere. Right. We're doing the chat on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun though. Yes. I do enjoy it. Yeah. And the funny thing is I'll have my earbuds in and my husband, he'll be sitting there doing something and he'll just I'll, I'll look up and he'll be looking at me smiling because I you know, I'm very animated. <laughs> yeah. And if I'm reading it or thinking it or whatever, it's on my face. <laughs> so I'm smiling and yeah. you know, yeah. 
about it. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. So, <clears throat> anything going on with you? Not really. We <clears throat> we've been spending a lot of time outside lately. Good. A it's been so time. nice and warm. It is. It's a yeah. little chillier today, but the yeah. sun is definitely yeah. shining for sure. It's been. I'm having to like rejigger our schedule because uh -huh. it's like okay, we're spending a lot of time outside, which right. means. I'm not getting as many things done inside, so it's right. like, okay, we got to do some plant. We got to yes. actually <laughs> get this we have to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's, the kids have loved it. It's yes. been good for me, too. So. Yes. Well, yeah. I think it has everybody. I mean, mm -hmm. we had a gray day the other day, uh, mm -hmm. and I mean, it's like, oh, yeah, we do have, you know, and when spring comes, it's like everything that was gray, even the grass is just that dull, mm -hmm. dull green. There's just all the trees are gray, basically, yes. except for the evergreens. But then when spring starts and everything just starts like, I mean, it's like so vibrant. It is, yeah. I'm looking at the grass like here, and it's like, yeah, it's like the color. Yeah. Well, it's a little lighter. Than it, I mean, we've already mowed our grass. We, yeah. 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 So, I mean, your dad has. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you should not be out mowing. But he does. So. He does it. He does it. Yeah. So. so, anyway. Tell us what you're wearing. I am wearing the Monday sweater by Petite Knit. And it is out of Olivia and Oliver Fibers, uh, Pink Marble, and Cashmere DK. And I did not alternate skeins. Oh, look Hello. at your baby fun. <laughs> I know. Baby's been kicking oh, quite a bit lately. So, yeah. I, I don't know if it's... She, yeah, yeah, we don't, we know, don't know. know. Yes. Yeah, so, it's still still fitting. And this it's is beautiful. definitely uh, one I would knit again, for sure. Um, I had uh, coffee with C this week. Mm -hmm. And she said that she was gleaning a sweater. And she was a little... It was a little rough, whatever she was mm -hmm. using. So she got on Amazon, I think it was, and ordered an electric gleaner. She said it was oh. awesome. It was pricey, she uh -huh. said. But, I mean, the thing about it is if you're putting all that time, effort, and money into mm -hmm. a garment, yeah. you, you know. So I would ask her. I, she's supposed to send me the link, but she hadn't done it yet. Did my <clears> sweater <throat> make you think of gleaning? I, I thought <laughs> it might need a little gleaning. I know my does. Bit. <laughs> and I know my, like my uh -huh. Mauritian needs yeah. it so oh, badly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't mind. I know like a lot of people prefer rustic yarn because you right. don't have to glean as much. Is that right. true? I don't. I, mean, I don't. I mean, clearly, I don't actually glean my sweaters. But yeah. if I did, I would. Like, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't bother me. It doesn't it's, bother me. Yeah, I it's love like, the soft. Yeah. It's worth it. Yeah, and I think I said this, but I did not alternate skeins. Yeah. So I think the softer yarns maybe peel a little more. Yeah. Like this one, it mm -hmm. feels pretty rustic. I don't have anything yeah, on under it. And it's not peeling. Mm -hmm. I meant this probably two years, yeah. a year and a half ago, probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's really good. Yeah. What is it? This is called Yesteryear, and it is in the book that Lobby and Amy had put out. I think mm. it's in the yellow one. Was that the first one? It's mm. in the first book that she put out. I love that is so this fun. sweater. I love it. This green is Shire by Lobby and Amy. Mm. And I mean, it. look at it just the is dimension. so dimensional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not like a flat. It's got so many. I did not uh, I did not alternate skeins. Oh, and this is spin cycle. Of course. Uh -huh. And look, you can I did I don't do any kind of yarn management. Mm -hmm. I just kinda let yeah. it do what it's gonna do. <laughs> but I do That's like really this sweater. Yeah. It is not itchy. If it were warmer, I would be mm -hmm. itchy in it. But it is not itchy to me. Um, let's see. The green, oh, this one, worse, it's a mm -hmm. worsted of weight. The green is Shire, my favorite color. Mm -hmm. That it's and that red that the Manhattan have. Yes. Now, that one, mm -hmm. and somebody said, remember, I couldn't t remember what how I cast it on, how yes. I cast on. It is the alternating cable cast on. Okay. So it's like that, uh, you know, what is it called? Tubular cast on, uh -huh. but you're doing it. You know, you are. It's a. It's like a German, and you're knitting on the knit stitches, and you're coming up through the back. Okay, between the two stitches. Between the okay. two stitches and purling <clears throat> that. Okay. So that's how that. And I, I, I didn't mind it. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So that one Andrea Mowry sweater, her new Weekender that she came out, and mm -hmm. I bought that one, uh, the dapple yarn yes. for that. I've been putting it off. I find that that's what I do. I get to a point in a sweater, and mm -hmm. if there's something that it's like I've tried it and it's yeah. really difficult it's for my brain to do, then I just kind of put it on the back mm -hmm. burner. 
but um, <clears throat> I did. So anyway, I'm going to use that to cast that. Okay. On because it has a, tubular. a it's a okay. tubular, but it has a split hem. So, you have to do so it twice. well, but I don't mind that. At okay. least it's not in the round. Okay. I think that's where I found I was having issues mm -hmm. was trying to keep it straight. Yes. And because I wasn't doing it on just long, mm -hmm. you know, a straight needle. Right. And I think people, some people do it on that. It's easier for them, mm -hmm. which I can see. So. Because don't you, do you have to work a row or two back and forth I and think, then you join it in the round? I think. I, okay. I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't it's know. Been so long. It's been, I, yeah, I tried it once. It was like, okay, mm -hmm. this is not for my brain right now. Right. But anyway, yeah. okay. So, uh, but yes, uh, and somebody in the comments said it was alternating cable. Yes, you're okay. right. Thank you so much. Nice. You all are great. Yeah, they are great. They really are. Okay, the spin cycle is called Deep Bump. Mm -hmm. I love this design. Yeah. It was so easy. I just love color work. Yeah. And, fun. you know, sometimes when you knit stuff, I don't think, let's see, I used um, eights and sixes, uh, probably eights on here and eights here. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. And then the ribbing, mm -hmm. I probably was a six. But um, I used three and a half skeins of the Cory Worsted, the green. Oh, nice. And I used one skein of the spin cycle. Oh, nice. And I mean, it fits me really well. Let yeah. me see if I put what. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. I loved it. I made the body a little longer and the mm -hmm. sleeves about one inch longer than the pattern. I don't like crop stuff on me generally, yeah. unless I have a specific dress or something I'm going to wear it with. Mm -hmm. I like it a little longer. Yeah. So I did make it. Uh, and this to me, I think we bought, I bought this when we were down there. Yeah. And I kept knitting it. To me, it did not feel like a worsted. I couldn't mm -hmm. get it to, remember that? I think so, yeah. But then eventually I did. And it's not see-through or anything. Mm -hmm. But, um... I don't know. I, to me, a worsted just feels bigger yeah. when you're knitting with it. But it did, did plump up. I mean, mm -hmm. isn't that just a great green? Look at that. Yeah, that's really I nice. do like it. Okay. It's so pretty. Uh, I'm trying to see my DK versus your worsted. Yeah. <laughs> well, not, and this, it yeah. did grow a little bit, okay. too. So, um, you know, let me see if this is, is it 100%? Oh, the Shire, the Cory worsted. Um Gotland Wool and Falkland Corydale. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's 250 yards a skein, which yes. is really good yardage yeah. for yeah, the worsted. For worsted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and I got both the yarns at Black, uh, I might have gotten, I think I got them both at Black Mountain. Okay. This might have been on sale at Magpie Line okay. when it was going out of business. Oh, yeah. But if I didn't, then I got it at Black Mountain. Mm -hmm. But I love it. It's a great pattern. Mm -hmm. It was easy to knit. Um, and Lane, wait, line, uh, no. I don't know who the designer was. I'm sorry, I didn't write it down. But it's in that book. And I'll try and okay. have that. I'll look it up and put it in the notes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Do you have any finished objects? No. I, I do, but it's not knitted. That's okay. <laughs> I have some almost finished. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. I made another skirt. For my girl. Um, I actually made one for myself as well. Not cute. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I've got a belt. I don't know. It just, I put it on and it looked like I just had this huge tent on. Yeah. And it was like, like I can wear, I'll normally yeah. just pull up skirts over yeah. my belly yeah. and then wear it like that. But this one is, I don't know. I'll it wasn't. See. Yeah. So. Well, she, she needs to take a picture and show it. <laughs> yeah, just, Try it on. Let us be um, the judge of that. You know, like, well, anyway, I was going to you know, the Grinch when yeah. you like try that's why I felt like that. Um, anyway, so this is her little skirt, and this is really sweet. Has she tried uh, it on? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, she's did she worn like it. it? Yeah, oh, she, um, she likes to, like, put on her skirts and then wear them outside. Uh -huh. And so she got dirt on it and was very heartbroken and was like, we'll wash we're it. We're going to wash yeah. it. And we did, and it's brand new. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. So that's, I, that's a pattern I did the same as last time. You can find it super easy on YouTube. Just Yeah. Those are the um, best. Yeah. And little girls do not care. I know. They don't care. No. Just so no, it's a skirt. No. Yes. You could, I mean, flower sack, they'd be fine. I know. I you know? She would be, yeah. So. so. Okay. Let's see what goodies I have over here. Ooh. Oh, okay. This, this one is my Riptide. And. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot which one that was. Yeah. This is a vest. 
And I keep saying, I did not bring my sock that I've been working on. And been That's probably for the best. Boring y'all. Oh, okay. Caitlin Jane. I'm kidding. No, really, seriously. <laughs> that's what I thought. I'm like, oh, not again. But I did knit a little bit on it. That's good. I'm almost to the toe. I'm not going to show my pig patootie socks until it's like yeah. the first one is finished. That's me. And then I'm going to show you. In a, okay. Yeah. You don't but have to see, do that too. Well, I'm, I should. I'm, I'm close. I don't know if it'll be done the next time or not, <laughs> but I'm close. Wow. But this is the Riptide. So cute. Isn't it cute. This yarn is amazing. I know. What is this? It's Miss Babs. Yeah. Okay. This color is Cayman. So I'm wow. gonna. So the sleeves are. All, you knit the sleeve finish as you go. The front I've already bound off, and it was uh, Italian bind off. Ooh. It's not perfect, but I did it. Yeah. Fancy. Yeah. And then the back. Okay, I knit the back. I had it finished because it's a it's a split hem. Mm -hmm. The back was a little longer than the front, mm -hmm. and I got all the way done. And then I realized I should have been slipping. So this, so oh. all the sides were finished and looked really cute except one. And I'm like, could that be a design element? Would it could it be a design element? <laughs> And I, cause it's like, you know, that much. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, no, that's a design mistake. <laughs> so I pulled it out and I did it over. Good but for some, you. Yeah. So, so sometimes yeah, it's like, yeah, it's it, worth it to redo. It is. Because see, now they're both yeah, really cute finishes. Really nice. So then after that, all I have to do is the, uh, oh the color. So wear it next time. I'm hoping. Yeah. I'm hoping. So that one is the Riptide Shawl. Do you remember who uh, the Riptide Fest? Yeah, uh -huh. no. best. Yeah, but they do have that designer. Yeah. She has more than um, more than one design in the yes. Riptide. You I know. think that's so cool when designers do that. I do when too. It's like, yeah, you just like have a bunch of the uh -huh. same really fun design in different garments. Yes, her name is Jennifer Shields Tolan, and she designed this in twenty twenty three. And it is so card. It's cool. That scarf is also in the Riptide collection, mm -hmm. but mine will be longer than hers. Mm -hmm. I did knit it a little bit. It's really, and I also do think that this uh, my shawl will grow some because mm -hmm. this is a super wash. Okay. So anytime I do a super wash, it tends to yes, which is fine with me. Yeah. As oh, long yeah. as I know that beforehand, mm -hmm. and it's not. Right. So I'm really excited about it. Yeah. And there's really good yardage on this yarn. Really? I mean, oh my goodness. It is, uh, like I said, it's Miss Babs Yowza. And it, it's DK. It, it, it is 100% superwash merino mm -hmm. wool. 560 yards. What? But it was $48 a skate. Yeah. But still, I mean, that, that's like, it's probably, yeah, yeah. it comes out to about... But I, I, That's, I really like it. Yeah. That has been in my stash for probably 10 years. Yeah. Maybe not that long, but, I'm, but it would not surprise me. What did you get from? No, I got it from Bliss Yarns in um, Nashville. Oh. Oh, Brentwood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Close to Nashville. Nice. Just outside Nashville. So I loved it, and I just kept kind of saving mm -hmm. it. And I really like it. Yeah. So And there'll That's be so enough, because I'm, I'm only into the second. I had two skeins. And I'm only into the second skein about, you know, a fourth of, half of the way. Mm -hmm. So there'll be some extra for something. You can make the I know, scarf little to go scarf. With it. Yeah. yeah. I probably That's wouldn't wear them together, yeah. but it'd be cute. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, I would <laughs> wear it with something like this because there is a little, yes. you know, there is some thing. of that yellow. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I do have a whip. Oh, you can see You have a, yes. Do you have a whip? She has a whip. Is this a new whip? Yes. <gasps> okay. Oh, I have a sad story. A oh, bit of a sad we don't story. like sad stories. So, I had all of my patterns on my iPad, mm -hmm. which I felt very tech savvy and very like, oh good, all my stuff is in one spot. Right. The problem is I'm not, I'm sure there's a way I can get back what I had. I know. What? I know. I don't know where it went. Is it Ravel? Are they? No. On? It's like I had it on, in my files on my ah. iPad. I am sure I can get it back. But I didn't yeah. want to fool with that. I yes. like had, I wanted to start knitting yeah. again, and it was like I got to do it now, or this might pass. Yes, <laughs> this might pass. <laughs> so, I I need to figure out if I can find, you know, yeah, all because that's like where my notes are, where it's yes. like 
where I know where I am in the pattern. Yes. Like I have some sweaters and I'm like, oh no, no, no. Okay, but I can't think about yeah. it. Yeah, so Don't I'm going to try to find them. Yeah. And then you just go to each individual one and like see if I can figure it out. Yeah. If I can't find the patterns again. But, but you have them on your Ravelry. Yes, okay. I have the patterns, but not where I am on it. So uh, I'm hoping I can. Oh, uh, yeah. on your whips. Yes, I'm uh, hoping. Yeah, sorry, yes. I was my favorite. Okay. On my whips. I don't have where I am. I hate it when that I happens. Know. So I'm a little nervous. I'm trying not to think about it too much. But I started a new project. Um, and I feel like this is a good thing for like spring. Uh -huh. This is called the, uh, it's called Bobbles by Andrea Mowry. And this is just a fun little, let me get one where it's like opened up. I've been wanting to knit this oh, for a pretty. long time. Yeah, I really like that. And so I was like, I don't know. I just, I, I, I don't know. I didn't want to start a sweater uh -huh. and I've been wanting to work on this for a while. So come on. This is what I have so far. Oh, Not too that, much. That but is, do you like that? I do Congo? like that. It's kind of like different. That. It is. Is it, does it have an eye cord on the edge? No. Oh, um, that's just oh, slip stitches. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm like slipping my stitches uh -huh. and that's I'm just pretty. going to town. Now, what yarn are you using? I'm using Magpie Swimsaw. Of course. And oh, I can't remember what this color is called. But this is from... Is it Bougie Beaver or something? No. It almost looks like I know. That. No, that's... Um, I can't remember. This is Ramble On. This was from their... Um, I like that one. I think it was, it was a special edition color. Uh -huh. And then... This is from Mama's stash. She's letting me use. I don't know how much of this I'm going to need, but so anyway, it'll be these. So it's only three colors. Yeah. Oh, good. I know. That's really cute. Thanks. Yeah. So it's been really fun. It's like complicated enough to like keep me engaged yes. and being able to like not get too much in the repetitive. Yeah. Like, yes. I'm getting nauseous. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, right? yeah, <laughs> doing I do. swings or whatever yeah. they go around. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, because it's flat. Yes, and yeah. there's enough. Okay, exactly. These needles, these are actually yours. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> you recognize them? They're interesting because they uh -huh. have like a little, like nub at the uh -huh. tip, so it kind of like catches your stitches. Right. Well. The C was using these. Uh, she was using. She was mm -hmm. knitting something. The yarn was a little slicky, mm -hmm. so she was using this top. They were bigger, of course. Okay. These are. Uh, I don't know the. P R Y M, mm -hmm. and these are four U.S.s. Yeah, but um, yeah, I do like these. Yeah. They do have little, yeah, like little. I don't uh -huh. know if you can see that, but probably not. So they're not like sharp, right? At right. all. They're, like, I do like sharp needles. Yeah, I know, I know it. So that's it's been like really fun getting back into yes. knitting and like thinking about color combos. Yes. I don't know, just. Yeah, getting back into that. So that is so interesting. I wonder if because that is flat, that doesn't make you nauseous. Uh huh. I don't know. Yeah, we should do some stop. kind of study on it or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ready for another yes. one? Okay. This is my my craft by Isabel Kramer. Ooh. Isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. Isn't it cute? That is so fun. Isn't it fun? I'm I'm thinking I could wear. Yeah, little mm -hmm. surprise right there. After I block it, it'll be. This is a super wash yarn. It's Emma's mm. worsted yarn. I did not uh, switch skeins here. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna yeah. put sleeves. Okay. I probably have another. I'm probably gonna knit maybe another inch on the bottom. So I'll have. This is how oh. much of the green I have yet okay. left. It's just these two. So this is one, mm -hmm. and then this is the other, and I really want to put some on the sleeves. Mm -hmm. So even if it's just a little, just a little. But look, I have two whole skeins that is of this crazy. lavender left. You didn't dig into either of these. Either of these. <gasps> so so I, had long sleeves. I mean, this I know. So I can do long right? sleeves. Yeah, and then I'll give this to you, and you can knit your little one or something or something. Scarf or something. Little, or even you could do a Manhattan out of this because it's worsted. Oh it would be so that cute. That would be so cute. Uh -huh. Okay. So yes, <laughs> I love this. I am thinking this spring I can wear like white pants with it. Oh my Wouldn't goodness. That be cute? Yes. So so yeah, I really do like this. So I've been wanting to find me some white pants for my yes. 
pregnant belly. <laughs> well, I have the skinny legs, which mm -hmm. I don't like anymore. But um, C had some really cute ones on, and they were wider legs. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I need. Yeah, I have some really cute ones for, you know, other yeah. normal times. But I'm like, I miss my white jeans. I know. And I used to never wear white. But mm -hmm. now that I don't have all the little ones around all the time. See, I'm like, you just bleach them. Just yeah. throw them in and bleach, bleach them. Yeah. Well, I just had so many at one yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like, like, oh. yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, I know. And plus, I just get them dirty. It's not oh, just yeah. them. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. like anytime I wear something like mm -hmm. that, it's like I'm bumping up against everything. Yes. Oh, so. anytime I get a white shirt on and I wear it for the first time, I'm like, I will get something on. Yes. And yes. I'm just going to have to bleach it and, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. Um, Do you have anything else? I don't have a, it's not a okay. whip, but it's something. Oh, let me see. Okay. I mean, like, it is a whip from a while ago, yeah. but I, I'm in the shawl. Yeah. Um, I think I've got that one started, yeah, too. I think you do. Um, so, I'm also going to, I'm whipping this one out. Look okay. at this. Look at her that, yarn cake. That. Isn't that just, I think mine like this is like, it's like about this big. <laughs> <laughs> Is this oh, that is I so know. pretty. I love this shawl, and it's oh, especially for spring. I know. I need to get mine out. I know it. I know. Um, when I started working on that, I was like, oh, remember. Yeah. So this is called the European Road Trip Shawl, and it is just so cute. They have it like in, you know, you can wear it uh -huh. all spread out uh -huh. or, where did that go? Or, or like folded oh, up. Oh, that's like, cute. I know. I just really like, it's very, like I feel like, you could wear it for like a fancy event yes. a little bit. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. Especially like in this color, it's like, yeah. So I'm kind of like, you know, yeah. I have a, a wedding to go to this spring. Your sister? Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> sister getting married. Yes. So I doubt yes. I'll get it done by then. But it's yes. a simple. Yes. I have, bit, so. I'm going to rewear. It's, it's really pretty, pretty. pretty. And what yarn is that? Tell us again. I don't know. I think it's. Yeah, Jaeger, Jaeger spun. spun, and this is Zephyr. Zephyr. Mm -hmm. uh, fifty percent wool, fifty percent silk. A hundred? No, no. A thousand one hundred and twenty yards. It's a hundred grams. That's a lot of yarn. Yeah. So I think I forget if we decided we would need a little bit more. I think like so, but I have more. an extra. Yeah. So, but we I have enough. Yeah. It's beautiful. It is. Yeah, I love. I'm like. I, I really it. need. Um, I'm going to wear, one of my daughters has the same colors that my next daughter, Laura, is using to get married, uh, so I'm going to re-wear that dress. Don't you love that? I do love like, that, because I love the dress, <laughs> yes. and it's like, you know, mm -hmm. I've only worn it once. Mm -hmm. Why am I, I'm not going to buy another one. Mm -hmm. um, so I think I'm going to do a little, either a rinoculus out of mohair or surrey, yeah. something do just surrey. to wear over with like... So that's, mm -hmm. that's my thought. That's so yeah. nice. I think that's what yeah. I'm going to do. It'll be open enough because yes. it'll be mid-May mm -hmm. and it'll be warm yeah, enough. You never know mid-May. Like, I mean, right now this is like 15 degrees warmer than it normally yes. is in March. So who knows what may Exactly. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So I'm really excited. And that would change the look enough yes. too. Yeah. Yeah. So, exactly. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. We'll see what else exciting. I have. See. Oh, okay. This, I'll show you this first because this is, we, I've talked about it before, but I haven't. Here's the pattern. I'll let you hold that. This is for the garden cardigan and it is so cute. And I have a really, sorry about the red one, guys. <laughs> so I told you I ordered some knitting for oh, Olive. Oh, word. Red, knitting for Olive. That's that so is. pretty. I got it from is it La Mercerie? Mm -hmm. So that's where I ordered it from. It came very quickly. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at this color. I, mm. feel, I feel like that's a little blown out. Like it's, yeah, this is, bit. yeah. It's so, it is very vibrant though. It is very that vibrant. That is so pretty. So I'm very excited. And then, this my, is, uh, this I is know, so soft. isn't it soft? I really can't wait to get started on yeah. this. And this one too. This is Knitting for Olive. 
and I, my Sister C went up to visit her granddaughters up north, mm -hmm. and she the, there's a shop up there that she visits when she's up there, and they have knitting for all of us. So oh. I just she did the Lulu slipover by Petite Knits, oh, yeah. and it was gorgeous. It was in a cumin color, like okay. my Riptide. But I said, you know, I don't want that color. Mm -hmm. But I want you just pick out something you think would be. So oh, this is she did good. Good. that pink. What is the name of it? Oh, no. I think they're the Let's same. See. Pink daisies. Pink daisies. Oh, that's fun. Is that the same? Uh, let's see here. Yes. Okay. So that color is pink daisies. And then this color is uh, rose mouse. Oh. Isn't that gorgeous? And this one is artichoke purple. Oh. So when you put those together, I think it's going to be I, gorgeous. I, this purple right here is just really Isn't dreamy. That I mean, they're both dreamy, right. but it's like... Oh, yeah, she did really good. Nice. She did do yeah. good. She's really good about uh, doing neutrals and stuff. Mm -hmm. She's very, I mean, classy. Oh, she like, is. Yeah. And I'm more of color and vibrant and pattern and all the stuff. So she kind of, thank goodness, she kind of <laughs> reins me in just a little bit sometimes. <laughs> So, uh, we make a good team. You do. Yeah. Yes, you do. So, that's fun. Okay, I have one more thing. Okay. It's a big surprise. I know. I'm feeling like it is. Well, what have you done? Um, okay. This is a yarn I'm using. It's called Roots and Rain. Okay. And it is, uh, it's a little company. I don't think she's dying much anymore. Oh. It's, uh, it's BFL. It's 100% uh, British blue face Lassiter, fingering weight, uh, 426. This is called log wood. And it's uh, natural dye, small batch. She uses rainwater. I mean, all that just is oh. really warm and fuzzy. Yeah. I mean, to me anyway, it's like, oh, that's so cool. It's like, okay, let's go oh. to my house on the prairie and yeah, do all that I stuff. So anyway, so I saw something on the Instagram. Of course. And I was like, oh, I, should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? So and good. so I jumped into it. So I signed up for a test <gasps> now. Oh. With Isabel Kramer's stuff. Yeah. So this is Mabel. And you can do short sleeve or long sleeve. Oh. Isn't that so cute? It's very simple. And see, she did my oh, La yes, she did. And I loved the pattern. It was so good, you know. That is so I love cute. her designs. It's a uh, light, so I can wear it for the spring. Yes. And I think it's due April 8th. You know how you are. It's like, okay, my, my life is pretty calm at the moment. And as soon as you say that, mm -hmm. and as soon as you say, okay, I'm going to do this because things are like, yes. then things kind of take a yes. spin. So... After I signed up to do this, my life kind of took a spin, and we I've been kind of, because we were supposed to podcast on Thursday, and I couldn't, because I had to do something, and then yesterday we couldn't, so today mm -hmm. is Saturday, and we're blessed enough to be doing it now, but, I mean, and that's just life, and it's mm -hmm. okay, so. And they understand. And they that. do understand. Oh, it's that kind of sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness. So, look at these little, those are daisy stitches. Have y'all done daisy yeah. stitches? Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm and then steal this is a sleeve cap. Oh, I've never done goodness. that. I've never done daisy oh. stitches. So it is just how fun! Isn't that fun? And I'm there's been no design elements yet on my part. Wow. Thank goodness. <laughs> but isn't that just yeah. so cute? And so, so is there, there's no buttons on it. There's no buttons. I there's might nothing. Need to, you might need to do this. I really, I really, really love it. Now that this one, so normally I will use my, I'm not going to show you the pattern itself. I can mm -hmm. show pictures of it, so I can do that as we mm -hmm. go. But this is it, and that's what she had up on Instagram. So it's glorious. Cute. It's beautiful. It's 19 stitches, I think. Let me see what the gauge is. 22 stitches, sorry. 22 stitches over 4 inches. Is that DK? Uh, mm -hmm. No. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. It's a it's a light. This is a light fingering. Oh, yeah. Goodness. So it's uh okay. it's a little. It's not. This says wait. This is no. It's just fingering. It's okay. a fingering. Oh, wow. So it's a heavier fingering. 
Yeah. It's probably between a fingering and a sport. sport. Okay. Mm -hmm. I yeah. have some sport with you. Okay, good. <laughs> so I really do like it. Um, there Now, this with this pattern, there are two things going on at once. Mm -hmm. I am not proficient on um, that app that I use. What is it? Knitting Companion. Okay. To be able to do, you know, to put part of the pattern here and part of it here so oh. you can work it both. I'm going to get that way. I don't, I need somebody to really show me. I know Very Pink Knits has some, you know, tutorials up. Okay. And I need to just sit down and spend a couple hours. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you're, I mean, y'all know how it is. When you're home, you, okay, there's a load of laundry. Mm -hmm. There's kitchen stuff. Mm -hmm. that needs, just all the stuff. So I just don't make time. Yeah. Yeah. So I need to. But anyway, so this is one thing that's going on every four rows. And this is something else that's going on every six rows. So can you see that? So that is my chicken scratch. And that's how I used to keep track of everything. Wow. Because my brain just can't. Mm -hmm. If I set it down, then um, mm -hmm. just kind of blah. Yeah. No, it's, yeah. it's hard to keep track. It is. So, but I really am enjoying it. Yeah. And it's, it's so fun. Cute. And the good thing is there's people that are better at picking up things that need tweaked or, oh, this should be this or that should be that. Mm -hmm. So they're ahead of me. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I just started that probably the beginning of the week, oh, maybe nice. Monday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So That's I got so the cute. notice that I was, uh, that I was invited to participate on Friday and then I, I'm swatched uh -huh. and then I started on Monday. Nice. Yeah. That is so fun. So it is fun. Yeah. It's yeah. a little surprise. I know. It wasn't a okay. I mean, it's hard to keep a surprise from you. It's like, you I just want a down one. Yes. I just yes. want a down one. <laughs> well, you laid that yarn out on the stool like a little temptation. Like a little, oh, yeah, like, like mama's got something <laughs> yes. else. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this, I uh, heard about this uh, company from Noel and Kelly mm -hmm. on Knit Check Cafe. That's nice. That's awesome. And it, and it's, I mean, it looks gray here, mm -hmm. but it's got like a purpley yeah. lavender. Yes, it does. So, and I don't think I'm going to alternate skeins with that either. It's, it would be easy to do mm -hmm. because it's a flat knit. Yeah. Because you're, but I just don't think I'm going yeah, to. Yeah, it looks, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not, I mean, I just don't think. Yeah. Sometimes, like when I get to the, the end, like fourth or something yes. of a ball, probably less than that. Then I'll start alternating, yes. and yeah. like almost like a fade. Yes, just yes. in case. Yeah, but yeah. Have you seen Andrea's new shawl? The yes. mount. It's cute. It is cute. It's that's, cute. That's actually what inspired me to start the bobbles because oh, I was really? like, I already have the yarn. Yes, I already have the pattern. Yes, it's just, this is it. Well, and she said there's brioche. There's mm -hmm. a, a like a fan and feather mm -hmm. pattern in it, and there's garter. And then there's a little brioche. Okay. So she said that it would be like the first, you know, it's kind of alternating in okay. those things. So the first brioche is like this. Okay. So I'm like, do oh. it. Brioche is so fun. Is it? Once you get the hang of uh -huh. it, it's just like, yeah, it's almost more soothing than knitting. Really? I don't know how. Yeah. See, I tried that it's... with the shawl around this and whatever they do, say. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm fine until I make a mistake. Yeah. And then it's, I can't yes. read it well enough. Mm -hmm. And, you know, honestly, I've just started read. I'm not just started, but I'm able to read my normal knitting enough mm -hmm. that I can tink back. Yes. Um, yeah. Because I'm not real good at putting life lines in yet. It's a really nice feeling. When it you is. Can read it and like, yeah. okay, nobody pay. Yes. <laughs> and, and I'm doing better about counting, like this pattern of uh, the Mabel pattern by mm -hmm. Isabel. She has numbers after each, you know, like mm. big thing. So you yes. can tell if you're on point or mm -hmm. if you're, if you miss something. Right. That so you can, nice. it is nice. Yeah. Because then it's like, okay, mm -hmm. I can figure this out. Yes. So, yeah. I'm really excited about it. Yes. I can't yeah. wait to see, like, yeah. see it grow. And... Yes. It'll yeah. be interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping I can get, you know, up to speed. I'd like to work on it a lot this weekend. Mm -hmm. So maybe I can. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, fine. Yeah. I Somebody like did it. ask us about um, easy sweater patterns. Easy sweater patterns. Yeah. Okay. I think the easiest for me it has been, um, and I know we've discussed this before, mm -hmm. but I'll just name a few. Uh, the Felix. Mm -hmm. um, especially the pullover. Mm -hmm. The only thing you need to be really mindful of 
is the lace pattern that's up here in the raglan. Mm -hmm. And I want, I'm wondering if you could just, uh, you know, skip over that and just knit those or not. I guess that's where you're increasing them. Maybe. Right. Okay. Yeah. But so it's the, yeah, you're increasing and you're not twisting knitting in the back of it right. or whatever to make it close. Okay. Is that right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe yeah. not. That yeah. one's easy. This was actually like, um, this you, one was super easy. Do you have to do this fold over collar or can you just do like a crew neck? Um, that's a good question. I think it's written in as a fold over. Uh -huh. So that is like, I mean, what you, you would just knit it to yeah. what you want and then just switch right into yeah. and skip the row. Of. Did you, um, did you knit this down as you knitted mm -hmm. the body? Okay. I did. Okay. Yeah. And I mess every time I like, you're supposed to either switch to the bigger needle before you do it, or you're supposed to stay on the smaller needle. Uh -huh. And I do it wrong every time. Yeah. Whichever. So it's like, if you mess up, I mean, I think I stayed on the smaller needle and it's like, I almost like it because it keeps uh -huh. it cinched up. A little up, snugger. Yeah. Like this is a raglan. Uh -huh. um, so I feel like this one was pretty easy. I don't know if like, it, yeah. What is that other pattern that I knit her? No frills. Yes. I like that, that one too. One now there has been here recently, if you go on Ravelry and just search their patterns, there's been a couple of cozy raglans and easy mm -hmm. raglans that's just come out. So yeah. I think a raglan is yes. really probably the easiest mm -hmm. sweater. Mm -hmm. I feel like they fit me better. Yeah. You know? I do too. The round yoke, uh -huh. I feel like some of them fit fine and then some of them it's like I don't know what happened. Yes. So yes. Yeah, I feel like raglans are easier to uh -huh. like Fishers. this one is a super deep that's yeah. Super deep raglan, but you can make it shorter. Yeah. So like Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean mine's not so much. Mm -hmm. And I like Elizabeth or Elizabeth. I started to say Elizabeth Zimmerman. Y'all don't know. I mean some of you probably <laughs> do know her patterns. But um, Andrea Mowry, I like her yeah, pattern. Yeah, she's really good. Because they fit me. They're not too big. Mm -hmm. You know, most of them that I knit are very, they have a lot of ease. Yes. Yeah. And I'm not, uh, I'm getting to the point where I'm better about, okay, I'm, I don't have to have that much ease. Right. Yeah. So. Um, I would say, especially, because I think I've seen some people say, like, I'm working on socks. Maybe someday I'll get to sweaters. And I'm like, I'm, I was the opposite. Yes. I started on sweaters. Yes. And I was like, I don't, yeah. hopefully I can do socks. So I, I'm yes. like, if you can do a sock you can do a with sweater. all that heel yes. turn, manipulation, yes. all that, I'm like, yes, yeah, I think. I mean, because basically knitting is just two stitches. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you know, the manipulation mm -hmm. of a knit and a pearl, mm -hmm. basically. And then like the increases, but like. But you're manipulating you yeah. a knit and a pearl. Right. Um, and you know, casting on. Yeah. So if you can knit and pearl and cast on, mm -hmm. you can honestly knit a sweater. Mm -hmm. And if you really want to try it out first, I would knit a child sweater mm -hmm. first because especially like in a DK or worsted yes. weight, yeah, they fly off the needles. And for that, I would say, would you say the flax? I would. It does have that detail. Uh -huh. It's pearled on. It, there's a strip of pearl, yeah. but it's, I mean, if you put markers in, you won't yeah. miss it. Um, the other one is antler. Yeah. That one has cables. Well, right? it's up at the top, but uh -huh. it's easy, I feel yeah. like. But, and that one of Andrea Mowry, is it called Bean and Olive? Yeah. You could leave out the mm -hmm. uh, color work in that and mm -hmm. just knit the pattern. Or the Anchors Kids. That yes. I, I did that one. Yeah. That one I did in Worsted Weight Yarn. Yeah. And it was, it was great. Yeah. So. And the Elwood cardigan, mm -hmm. if you're looking, that's an easy one. Mm hmm And it's big yarn, big needles. Yeah. 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 The only thing that you would do in a sweater that I can think of that you don't do in socks is just casting on the underarm stitches. Yeah. The but backwards. that's easy. That is the easiest thing. Like, and usually it's no more than seven yeah. or eight yeah. stitches. And it's just and like, it's not yeah, even, yeah, it's just an easy, yeah. easy way. I mean, the the blessing is all the tutorials are, yes. you know, and you can always just watch three or four of them. Mm -hmm. But if you're like me, it's like, I don't want to slow down long enough yes. to figure it out. Yeah. But, um, and, and also patterns these days, 
they have generally a tutorial link yes. in them if yes. there's something that you're not used to, mm -hmm. which is a huge, yeah, huge, you know, that's very, that's yeah. very nice of them to do that. For definitely. Sure. Yeah. I would definitely say if you're interested in it, just jump in. Yes. This is a craft. It's yeah. a joy. It's fun to learn new yes. techniques and nine times out of 10, you'll get it within. You will be amazed. You tries. <laughs> you will be amazed what you can do. Yeah. And the beauty of it is it's not like cut fabric. Once you cut yes. it, you can't undo it and, you, you, you know, use it for something else or do something else. I've been learning yeah. that with this. I mean, you just pull it out and start over. Yeah. So in these skirts, I accidentally cut the wrong piece of fabric to make a doll skirt. Yeah. I was like super tired and cut it. Yes. And I was like, yeah, that's not the one I wanted to cut. <laughs> Well, it was like, at least I'm it was a doll. Yeah, I miss I miss <laughs> at least it was a doll. Skirt, exactly. You know. Yes. But yeah. So I mean, mm -hmm. I just I've just learned to be fearless. Mm -hmm. Now there's some stuff I don't like to do. Well, but that's yeah. a little different <laughs> than. So just yeah. be fearless, mm -hmm. and it, it, you know you're not going to mess anything up. Yeah. And if you do, just tink back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just tink back, or use it as a design element. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you know, exactly. You'll have a one of a kind masterpiece mm -hmm. when you're done. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything else I think going that's on? a good note to end on. I do too. Go try something new. Yes. Yeah. You can and do let it. us know. Oh wait. Okay. Find joy in your knitting. Too. Find joy in your knitting. But how oh. are they going to enter our giveaway? How are they going to enter? Our I giveaway? was going to be mean and be like, go try some new technique and then tell us what it was. Yeah. But let's not. No, do that. let's not do that. That's <laughs> just yeah. Just tell um, us what you're working on for spring. Yep. Yeah. You can leave any comment you want. Yeah. To. We any comment care. on any this comments. video. Yeah. And we will. Uh, We'll draw something. Uh, you want to draw it the next time we podcast, or you want to give it two weeks? We'll do it in two weeks, whether that's the next video. Okay, that or... sounds good. So today is the 16th. We don't know what's coming. Right, we don't know what's coming. So this is... Is that how you want to do it? Yeah, let's okay. just do that. Okay. The 16th. Uh, this is the 16th, so two mm -hmm. weeks from today. Or two weeks from when we post it. Oh, two weeks from when we post. Because sometimes there's a few days. In yeah, time. there's a few days. Because you know why. Y'all are sweet to know that. Yes, I know. Uh, yeah, so, so two weeks from yeah. when this air airs. Posts or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Usually it's within three or four days. Yeah. Um, if you enjoy this, if you want to like and subscribe, that helps our channel. I really hate saying that, but it does. Mm -hmm. And um, we do. It, it's, and it's an easy way to help our channel. Yeah. So, um, and we like seeing it too. Mm -hmm. And as comments are really sweet. We yes. love those. So yes. anytime you comment, we read them and love them. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much yes. for joining us. Friends that are, keep coming back and mm -hmm. new friends. We, we, we're glad you're here. We hope you found something interesting. Yes. Useful. Absolutely. And if not, just enjoyed your knitting while we chatted. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Until next time. Happy knitting.